that he's got a lot of gifts. The greatest gift that he's got is the ability to share with other people. And that's exactly why he's a champion. That's exactly why he's able to react like that. I don't know how long he's going to turn out. That's the same one. I've done this a lot of years. I've never trained him for anyone in the past. With just under two minutes left in the game against Maryland, Yogi Ferrell sprinted across the floor and dove on a ball for a steal. And it's that hustle, that determination, that competitiveness that Coach Tom Crean said makes Yogi such a special player and makes saying goodbye to the senior so difficult. When I came in as a freshman, he was a sophomore. I can definitely see it. Um, this the thing, the extra things now that he does off the court, it's just not even like physical, but also mentally, it's just amazing. And, and it shows, like, he's became a great person, a great leader. He's very comfortable getting after someone because, because he knows what they're capable of, not just because they made a mistake, but because he knows and he's invested in what they're capable of. And when you got a senior like that that's like that with his freshmen and sophomores, let alone the guys in his own class, it's a pretty strong deal. So he's, um, he's made himself uh, not only a tremendous player, but a tremendous leader. He tries to teach everyone all his knowledge. And he's a really good teammate. I like to show them what I can see on the court. And, you know, they do a great job of listening to me and what I see on the court, I feel like. And, you know, I think that me personally, I've, I've seen, you know, my freshman year, I've seen guys, the way they prepare for each game. You know, Vic, Will, uh, the way they used to watch film was unbelievable. <clears throat> and I feel like I've taken part of that. And, you know, now it's just trickling down onto the younger guys. Yogi has certainly left a big mark on the Indiana program since his arrival as part of the movement four years ago. But he and his teammates aren't done yet. Well, the first big key was to get a good seed, and we got that down. So, um, but, you know, next big key is just, uh, you know, being able to play, you know, three games in three days. It's, it's you know, something new. And you, you do an AAU, but it's just not the same. Um, you know, thank, thankfully, we don't have to, you know, play them from Wednesday. Like, some of these, like, five games in five days, that's just... That's, you know, ridiculous. It's, your bodies aren't, I don't care if you're Yogi Ferrell, your body's not made for that. Um, but yeah, you know, just, just being able to uh, you know, have toughness, you know, play together, keep that defense going, and all be on the same page. Senior night can really, it can, it can turn it into a closure situation, but it's really not. And uh, these guys are excited, they're focused, they know they've got a lot left in them, and we've got a lot of improvement we can make over the next few days before we get to Indianapolis. The Hoosiers will immediately refocus as they head to Indianapolis on Friday to play in the Big Ten Tournament. From Bloomington, I'm Jessica Wimsat, allhoosiers.com.